Hello and welcome. In today's video, we will discuss what is AI, the various phases through which AI has passed, a brief history, its usage in daily life and the future of AI. Today, everyone is talking about smart devices, smart cities, AI enabled gadgets, robots and many, lot many things. So what exactly is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is a term coined by John McCarthy in the year 1956 as the science and engineering of making intelligent machines, especially intelligent computer programs. Putting intelligence into man-made computers, feeding them with data and making them think intelligently and acting as humans is what AI is all about. Some examples which we can talk about around us are like Siri, Alexa, we have chatbots, we have AI based algorithms that predict and give suggestions. We will talk about all these things in the upcoming uh, slides. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Main goal of artificial intelligence is to create an expert system which can uh, learn, behave, think, advise and explain, demonstrate like humans and also to develop a system that can recognize, interpret, process and stimulate human effects. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to create an intelligent machine which could do tasks, which can take uh, work on its own, which could take decisions. Some examples of artificial intelligence, uh, some I have listed uh, as you can see, are like uh, driverless cars, robots, we have uh, face, voice and speech recognition systems, we have algorithms which could predict and show us the trends in if you look at some customer service portals, you have chatbots. So the examples are endless uh, and as in, as artificial intelligence will gain importance, the list will be endless. Let us see a brief history of artificial intelligence. Now, it's a, not a new term. Work was being uh, done on this uh, term long back. So it started in the year 1950s and 60s when the term AI was being coined. And as in when internet gained importance, when mobile uh, phones came into being, it, it, uh, the trend is going on, the various uh, application, various things have been uh, worked on in the field of artificial intelligence. I have listed a few points over here, like in the year 1961 to 1970, the first industrial uh, uh, boat was being developed at the MIT lab, they developed a chatbot named Alisa. Then uh, in the year 1971 to 1990, we say it's a AI winter that no uh, significant work was being uh, going on, but no significant work was being uh, done. From 90s to 2000, now till now, a uh, lot of changes uh, are there in the field of AI, like. Uh, IBM came up with Deep Blue, which defeated the chess uh, champion. Uh, we have uh, the emotionally intelligent uh, robot known Kismet in 2001 to 10. We have uh, the uh, uh, iRobot vacuum cleaner, the uh, uh, self driving. We have a Sony pet uh, robot named iBibo in 1999. We have a uh, Apple, Siri, IBM's Watson, uh, your Amazon's Alexa, Google's AlphaGo. Then uh, we have uh, like the latest, latest one if we talk about, we have Be Brief, Beehive, Brainbox, a socially emotional uh, companion named Moxie. Uh, then there are endless examples which you we can write in the history of artificial intelligence and as work has been going on more and more things will be added uh, in this list. Moving on to the types of artificial intelligence, uh, people really talk about only weak and strong AI but we think I think uh, there is one more term which should be added to this uh, that is the AI super intelligence. Uh, which will be a step uh, ahead of strong AI. So if we talk about AI or the weak AI or the narrow AI, it 
it is like ai which is able to perform a dedicated task so it's trained for only a specific work like a chess playing uh, application which can only play chess or an ai enabled car or self driving car which could only drive its program its data is been fed to perform that particular specific task which if we talk about siri it will give you suggestions based on the data which has been fed into it the strong ai or the general ai which could perform any intellectual task efficiently like a human on its own uh, now such systems with general ai under are under research but it could soon be a reality if we talk about ai super intelligence or super ai they are the ai system which could surpass human intelligence and perform task on its own better than humans now it will be a step above strong ai no there will be no need to feed data into such machines it will make judgments and commit, communicate on its own now super ai if we talk about super ai it's a concept as of now to develop such a system it will take a lot of effort and time and could be a turning point in the world it people are trying to work on it but as of now it's only a concept as i said the application if areas of ai if we talk about the application areas it it could be used anywhere like in healthcare it could provide proper diagnosis and treatment with the uh, if we are using ai in the field of education we could provide a learning environment to the students uh, if uh, we are talking about sports athletes can expand their capabilities using the ai if they can feed in their data the application will provide them with suggestions and various other things in the field of agriculture or of constructions maximum yield is being possible uh, if you talk about ag agriculture by developing a farming environment in the field of construction uh, smart machines could could be used in banking field already chatbot assistant is being provided if we talk about marketing and e-commerce ai based algorithms are already in place which predict for trends and which provide you with product recommendations any new concept uh, which comes up or new technology is being introduced it has its own advantages disadvantages or pros and cons and concerns same as with ai also it has its advantages like ai machines are prone to less errors and have high accuracy as it takes decisions on the data based on experiences ai systems no doubt they are reliable uh, has a very high speed and can work fast as compared to uh, humans it also provide digital assistance to cons customers uh, it could be used as a public utility like self-driving cars or talking like humans you have chatbots the advantages uh, are uh, various advantages are there then it has its own disadvantages as well now ai using ai is a very costly affair as the hardware and software are expensive uh, it will uh, work only on the data which is being fed into it or for it will only perform the task for which it is trained they do not have or they cannot have any emotional in uh, attachments like humans they cannot be creative definitely they cannot be creative and imaginative we are talking about the ai which we are using as of now not uh, the strong ai or the uh, super in ai or super intelligence and whatever task is being done is being uh, done on the data which is being fed into it now if some wrong data is being fed then definitely will get wrong results to create a uh, application based on ai we definitely need to use a programming languages there are various languages which could be used lisp is the most commonly used and now we are uh, having python which is a very easy language and people are really using and learning python so that they can develop an ai enable system otherwise uh, uh, r is also used 
C++ has also been used to program application based on AI. The usage of AI, anywhere where internet is being used, now we talk about internet of things, smart devices, they, in that particular field, AI can be used, be it for gaming, for expert systems, your uh, vision systems, any kind of re uh, pattern recognition, speech, you can be, it can be used in the field of robotics. So the usage of AI these days, it's, it's expanding, it's being used in various fields. There are various career opportunities uh, in the field of AI. Uh, even in schools, uh, as a skill education, AI is being uh, introduced as a subject so that these students could get an initial knowledge of what AI is all about. If you uh, step into this field, there are various opportunities. You could be a data engineer, you could be uh, 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 involved in the field of data collection or data analysis you could be into robotics you can build an intelligence uh, intelligent uh, business developer you could be a data scientist you could be in the field of uh, uh, language processing there are various you could be a research scientist and but definitely you have to be uh, and you have to learn the basics and then these are the specialized things you can do definitely move on into this field there are certain ethical concerns related with ai as it is a new concept uh, so uh, there are various questions which are unanswered unanswered like a lack of transparency now ai app if you are talking about ai application they show only the input and the output what resulted in that output how it was derived uh, what data was being fed into it whether right data was being fed right algorithm was being used to uh, come up with uh, with the a solution how how uh, that data is being fed who was uh, involved in the process of data collection these things are still not very clear they are very complex so these these are some of the concerns then liability for action any decision which is taken by an ai application an a or super intelligent uh, robot who will be liable for the those action how though they will be judged these things are still uh, unclear if we have uh, a super intelligent uh, uh, ai then it also it is also a concern because it will take decisions on its own it will uh, we it will not ask for our advice it will be super intelligent human it will be like a super intelligent human who would be capable of taking uh, decisions on its own no there will be no need to feed data into it and since we talk about when we talk about ai everything is based on the data now millions of data is being collected every day it is analyzed our privacy is being evaded and eroded and there there is no privacy now uh, then there are these surveys being carried out research work is being carried out and everywhere data is being collected analyzed and work is carried on on those data i am not saying that uh, whatever data you are feeding into uh, these systems it's been uh, taken without your knowledge but yes there are surveys and there are researches where your data has uh, is being taken when a new technology or new concept has been introduced introduced there is always this talk about the impact on the labor market no doubt initially it will it will have an impact but it is also opening various opportunities in the field of ai as we have discussed earlier a concern uh, about the weapons which are being used we should talk about those like today we have ai enabled weapons drones cameras which are easily available which are being used frequently used they are inexpensive and could be used to harm others a check should be placed on these these uh, 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 use of these weapons and uh, how they should be used how ai enabled weapons should be tackled a loss of skill a very important point which i would like to discuss over here is the loss of skills we use smart software which has 
definitely made our life easy but at the same time we are also losing our skills as well we because we are highly dependent on the machines we are highly dependent on these softwares a very simple example like when we did not have the smartphones or the mobile devices we could easily remember the telephone numbers but nowadays we we just browse we just uh, search for the number we do not remember the, those numbers easily if we have any query we just ask the assistance yes or what we check online so those basic skills those mental arithmetic skills those mm -hmm. learning skills those, those recalling skills we are losing those skills there are various companies which are making use of ai as uh, the i have listed a few companies uh, uh, here uh, which we all all are aware of like amazon we have google facebook uh, then we have apple uh, these these assistants we are using then there are various companies like data visor deep point they are also using ai uh, for their work now the future of ai if we talk about the future of ai ai has a very bright future it has open a world full of opportunities there are various career options ai system will bring us prosperity convenience it will save our time but at the same time there are various concern associated with the uh, with ai if i say but we cannot close our eyes uh, to this new concept to the future which will be there if if you are using ai enabled application ai enabled uh, devices but we should be sensible enough not to close our eyes but to look at the opportunities which will be provided by a powerful technology such as artificial intelligence hope you found the information shared in this video useful stay tuned for upcoming videos and thank you for watching